Thank you for your call. Jesus, boss. Is it a full moon tonight? Feels like every night's a full moon night in this town. On that subject, that's why I called you in. Richo pulled in a right nutter. Dawn Lennox caught him stealing washing off her lawn. What sort of conditions the bloke in? Well, a few bruises on his ass, but no major damage. Mrs. Lennox claims that he was stark naked when she saw him out of kitchen window. Took to the poor bastard with her broom. Righto, I'll go and have a chat. He's in the meeting room with Richard. Boss? So, I suppose Kim's filled you in? A little. I'm Detective Senior Sergeant Rose Stepney. You are? You can call me Juan. So, Mr. Juan. Just Juan. So, Juan. Why were you stealing clothes off Dawn Lennox's clothesline? I needed body coverings. Why did you need body coverings? Because I didn't have any. And why didn't you? This is all irrelevant. I need to speak with someone urgently. You're speaking with us? No. A woman. Lauren Farella. I need to speak with her right now. Why do you need to speak with Lauren Farella? It is a matter of utmost urgency. I see. Not for what? Did he say anything when you brought him in? Not a word. I radioed Kim to call you in. I had a feeling things were going to get weird. Weird how? Well, Dawn said she heard a large thump from the paddock out the back. The whole place shook. Pretty soon, Mr. Buck Naked shows up. Hey, Kim, what have those calls been about? Um, so far, seven calls about a strange noise and um, a mild earthquake up past the race course. Thanks. Do you know a Lauren Farella? Uh, yeah, she's fairly new in town, just got a job at the council, accounts, I think. This is a small town. Facebook. Could you contact her if we need her? Um, yeah, I guess. My sister-in-law works in HR over there, so I'm sure they could if it's uh, urgent. Thanks. So, what's on your mind? I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm in the office on the Sunday dealing with a nutter. Mm -hmm. Fair point. Do you want to go and let me finish up? No, I think I want to see this one through. But if either of us have to leave the room for any reason, yeah. keep an eye on the CCTV footage. Yeah. Just to be sure. Yeah. I'm going to organise some food. You hungry? No. Richo, could you get Kim for us up some pizzas? Copy that. Might get some coffee too. You want some? No. So, Mr. Quan, why do you need to speak to Lauren Farella? What I have to say must be said to her and only to her. Please, time's running out. Here's the thing. You turn up, stark naked, at someone's house, tried to steal clothes, and now you're demanded to speak to a young lady who's new in town. You could be anybody. You could be an ex-boyfriend who This is to... getting us nowhere. Please, I need to speak to Lauren Farella right now. If I'm going to remotely entertain the notion of even calling Ms. Farella, you need to give me something to work with. I am from the future. <laughs> Let me guess. You're a T-800 sent back from the future to save the world. I do not know what a T-800 is. The Terminator? Arnold Schwarzenegger? I'll be back, baby. So, you're from the future. What has this to do with Miss Farella? Miss Farella is about to set in motion a series of events that will have dire consequences in 136 years' time. See, I told you. T-800. What events? I do not have time to explain everything to you right now. I need to speak to Lauren Farella now. So you say you're from 136 years in the future? No. I said Lauren Farella's actions would have serious consequences in 136 years. I am from the year 2163. 
it has taken six years to trace back the origin to this point in yeah. time. Yeah, all right, whatever. You must be able to tell us something to prove your story. Such as? Where were you when we called you in? Watching footy? What was the score? Uh, Warriors were leading 26 to 4, just after half time. Okay, who wins? I don't understand. The footy, rugby league, who wins today's game? Contact sports no longer exist in my time. I'll have to access the archives. National Rugby League. Round 17, Sunday, June 23rd, 2021. To which contest are you referring? Warriors and Cowboys. New Zealand Warriors, 32. North Queensland Cowboys, 33. Hey Kim! What's the footy score? Cowboys just came back from the dead and took it with a last minute field goal. 33-32. Thanks. Well, if you already knew, then why'd you bloody ask? Nice trick. I don't know how you did that, but... Now can I see Lauren Farella? What do you think? I don't know. Pretty cool trick though, but doesn't mean he's telling the truth. Mm, agreed. My gut tells me there's something more to this one. Mm -hmm. Let's get Farella. Alright. Yep. Hey Kim, can you work some of that Facebook magic of yours and get on to Lauren Farella? We need to get her in here ASAP. Sure thing. We're trying to make contact with Miss Farella. In the meantime, I'd like to know a little more about why you need to speak with her. When I say I'm from the future, what I mean is I'm from a possible future. There are many different ways a future can be made. Examples? When can I see Lauren Farella? When we can contact her and only if she agrees. So you'd better convince us to help. Time travel was discovered in 2015. That was six years ago. Correct. Although the concept was discovered, it took several years to perfect, and even longer to become a commercial enterprise. Commercial enterprise? So people pay the time travel? Correct. In 2084, the Cameron Corp established time tourism. People could travel back in time in contained vessels and view the past. If that's the case, how come nobody's ever seen these vessels? How would you have? You refer to them as UFOs. Go on. Cameron Corp continued these ventures until they were halted in 2102. Halted why? Time tourism is highly regulated with very strict rules. When someone broke the number one rule of not interfering with the past, it was immediately shut down. What happened? Little is known of how it happened. However, a traveller managed to get free from his vessel and wound up mingling with the population. So how's that problem? That traveller inadvertently infected someone with a virus that was not common at the time. This triggered a worldwide pandemic. COVID-19. So, couldn't someone from the future help? They did. That's how they developed the vaccine so quickly. President Musk shut down all-time tourism shortly after that. Musk as in Elon Musk? His great-granddaughter. Oh, thank God for that. Any last Miss Farella? She's on her way, Ruben. How's it going in there? It's uh, unusual. I tell you, full moon. Lauren? Yeah. Come on through. Diaz has Stephanie's waiting for you. This is DSS Stepney and Dixie Richardson. What's this about? Am I in trouble? No, not at all. It's just that 
we've got a man in our meeting room who's insisting on speaking with you. Jesus, it's not Phil, is it? Shit, I moved here to get away from... I don't think it's anybody you know. Do you recognise this man? No, I've never seen him before. Well, not that I can remember. Why does he want to speak with me? He claims he's from the future. And he claims he needs to speak to you urgently. Is this a joke? Did Phil put you up to this? No, this is no joke, and he's got some pretty interesting proof to back up his claims. What? Am I the real-life Sarah Connor or something? He's not saying, but um, he's just saying he needs to speak with you. It's entirely up to you, Miss Frola. If you don't want to, that's fine. We'll sort him out. Well, we're all here on a Sunday, so why not? Lauren Frella. What time is it? It's 2.21pm. Thank you for coming, Miss Farella. You may go now. Hang on a minute. You asked to see me. I'm here, and now you just want me to leave. Yes. Bugger that, mate. You owe me an explanation. What were you doing before you were called to come here? Well, I was on my way to the office to catch up on some work before the council meeting tomorrow. And you would have been there by now? Yes, I was pulling into the car park when I got the call. What's this got to do with you? In 134 years, the son of President Musk will be kidnapped and held for ransom. Musk? Elon Musk? His great-granddaughter. Wait, what? Elon Musk's great-granddaughter is the President of the USA? No. President of the United Nations. Countries as you know them no longer exist in my time. Shortly after time travel was invented, people went back to the past and discovered that the religions, all of them, were myths. Bet that went down well with the churches. Yes, there was some unrest. However, once the wealth from these organisations was freely distributed to everyone, the world entered a state of peace. So, so no big apocalypse or anything? Countries disbanded, and the UN formed a committee to guide world affairs. A new world capital was established in Durban. Why Durban? Why not? So, no government, no church, no problems? Well, there are still problems. Many people still fail to give up on their religion, especially in the American Midwest. Wouldn't the just sudden end of religion cause some social problems? People have formed alternate groups of faith. For example, Catheists worship the image of a cavalier King Charles Spaniel. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> it was founded by the goddess Catelyn many years ago. Look, before. this is great and all, but what's this got to do with me? The story is long and complicated, but everything traces back to today, to this moment. You were to go into your office where you would have received an email this email would have contained a ransomware virus that would have shut down your council. Your council would have paid the ransom, and the money would have led to the group responsible undertaking larger, more lucrative attacks, eventually culminating in the kidnapping of the president's son. But doesn't the council have a backup for this very reason? That's why the fire was set. Fire? As we speak, building housing the backups is being set alight. How can we believe any of this? Because it is the truth. Maybe it's all the sci-fi stuff I watch on Netflix, but usually when someone like you comes back, they always have some definitive proof of the future. Well, he did pick the score in the Cowboys Warriors game. You must be able to show me something from my future. I cannot tell you anything that would affect your future in a substantive way. But you already have. Only for the betterment of humanity. You said time travel's been banned, so how do you get to do it? Only time tourism has been banned. Officially sanctioned time travel is still happening. I'll be okay here. So it looks like he was right. The uh, server room behind the council office is well alight. Crews are on it now. See if they can get anything from the CCTV footage around the council building. Yeah, already on it, mate. You know, 
there's something's not right about this bloke. If you were sending one of your top people from back from the future to here to save the world from a major catastrophe, wouldn't you send someone taller? <laughs> One of your top people, you know? I, I do know what you mean. It's been on my mind too. You must be able to give me something. Who's this? Someone you'll meet who will become very important to you. You are right. The council server room is on fire. Okay, so you've completed your mission. What happens now? Do you go back? That has yet to be determined. So you're stuck here. Oh, well, that's going to be interesting for you. Hello. I think we're done here. Miss Frelly, you're good to go, but I suggest you go home and not back to the office. Don't open any strange emails. You? Stay here. We need to have a think about what to do with you. Thank you for coming down today. It's been an interesting day. What happened to you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Consumato est. Boss, you have to see him. This was taken outside the council office 26 minutes ago. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get the lake view? 